In this video, I will be discussing developmental milestones as well as some of the primitive reflexes. Different sources say different things about when precisely these reflexes are supposed to disappear, but I will be presenting them in a way that's easiest to remember. There are four reflexes all medical students should know. Moro, Rooting, Palmer, and Babinski. The Moro reflex happens when you startle the baby, usually initiated by pulling the baby up from lying down and suddenly let its head fall back. The baby should rapidly abduct and extend the arms, open the hands, tense the back muscles, and sometimes begin crying. Moro has four letters and usually it disappears by four months. The rooting reflex exists to help the naive infant begin to breastfeed. When you stroke their cheek, they respond by turning their head and beginning to suckle. The root word of rooting is root, which has four letters, and this reflex usually disappears by four months as well. The palmar reflex is the involuntary flexion of the fingers following hand stimulation. Palmer has six letters and usually disappears by six months. The Babinski reflex is a sign of an upper motor neuron lesion in adults, but it's physiologic in babies. It is present when the big toe extends upward and the other toes fan out in response to stimulation of the bottom of the foot. This one doesn't follow the rule of letters, so just know it disappears at 12 months, which is one year. Now for the developmental milestones. At one month, the infant should be able to lift its head. If not, it could be a sign of hypotonia. At six months, the infant should be following the S rule, sitting, stranger anxiety, and switching hands, which means it should be passing a toy from one hand to the other. At nine months, the infant should be able to crawl. Crawling kind of looks like a nine fell down, and a nine also looks like the letter P in the mirror, so I'll use that to remember that nine-month-old infants developed object permanence and separation anxiety. At 12 months, or one year, the toddler should be standing. The number one looks like it's standing and taking the first steps. It should also be able to use a pincer grasp and throw a ball. As for language, it should also be using its first words and following one-step commands, perhaps with a helpful gesture. At 18 months, a toddler will be running around and kicking a ball. It should be able to remove clothing, depicted here as the shoe coming off, and build a cube tower. A good rule is that children can build a cube tower as tall as three times their age in years. For language, they should be able to say 18 words, give or take, and identify a body part. They should understand the concept of mine and pretend like playing with a stuffed animal. For the rest of the milestones, I will draw the child's head as the shape they should be able to copy. So at two years, a toddler should be able to draw a line. They should also be able to go up the stairs two feet at a time and jump, which requires two feet, say two word phrases, follow two step commands, and begin toilet training. Number two, they should be able to say at the minimum 50 words, which follows the rules of twos if you consider that 50 is half of 100. They should also engage in parallel play, which is when children play next to each other, mostly by themselves, but showing interest in the others. At three years, a toddler should now be able to go upstairs with alternating feet. As you can see by the head, they should also be able to copy a circle. I've drawn the hair to indicate that the child should also know what age slash gender they are. They can also use utensils and engage in imaginative play. They should be able to use three word sentences, be three fourths or 75% intelligible to strangers, ride a tricycle, and say about a thousand words, which has three zeros. Finally, three year olds should be able to spend the day away from their parents, hence, I am free which kind of rhymes with three. At four years, a preschooler should be able to balance and hop on one foot, just like the number four, and be able to copy a square. They should also know their colors, be four-fourths 100% intelligible, and engage in cooperative play, which is kind of included in the picture with the and to indicate cooperativeness. 
At five years, a child should be able to do everything a kindergartner should be able to do with a good deal of independency. This includes skipping, walking backwards, copying a triangle, dressing, bathing, printing letters, counting numbers, and saying five word sentences. They should also have friends and be completing their toilet training. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.